Okay, so before I turn the case around and start connecting the hard drives, I'm going to work on the video card here. Now we've already plugged the, the card into the PCI Express slot, but this card requires extra power. Um, and there's a little plug right here. Might be difficult for you to see, um, but there's a little tiny plug right here that has six pins and it matches like one of these cables right here. Pretty simple. I, I mentioned this before with the power supply. We have PCI Express slots over here and then anything for SATA and IDE is in this back side. By the way, they also give you, um, if you look at this side, this is the side that I'm going to end up putting into the motherboard. And th this is the side that I'll take. There you go. There's a better view. This is the side I'll end up taking to the video card. And I'm just using this one. I'm not using this little guy. Uh, this is an extra one for video cards that would need um, eight pins instead of just uh, instead of just six. Kind of like that 20 plus four per pin connector that we plugged into the motherboard motherboard earlier for the CPU. So, all right. So we're going to connect this. And, uh, you know, with this installation, we don't need to, like, run this cable in the back because we're just going from here to here. In fact, what we'll end up probably doing is getting it as short as we need and then probably zip-tying the rest of this so we don't have, any, like, a lot of cable running through the system. All right. Where am I? So we'll go here. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, all the power that the video card needs. Let's move on to the hard drives. 